Insider info, everybody. The White House actually reached out to me and asked me to host the White House Correspondents' Dinner. I accepted, obviously. I sent them some of my jokes, but like Nancy Pelosi's eyes, they went in a different direction. <laughs> now, I can't let these jokes go to waste. So here we go. The real White House Correspondents' Dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden is here, but he doesn't know that. <laughs> Biden's brain is as soft as a bowl of cum, or as Anderson Cooper calls it, brunch. <laughs> <laughs> does, <laughs> does anyone here trust Biden's brain? I have more faith Madison Cawthorn could win Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> also, Cawthorn, stop bragging about how the Latino community supports you, okay? They don't. Mexicans just love of a vegetable on a cart. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of vegetables, let's talk about someone who's got hips like a turnip. Trump, <laughs> he missed his fifth correspondence dinner in a row. Did someone tell him it was Tiffany's birthday? <laughs> Hunter Biden also couldn't make it. It was date night with his dead brother's wife. Jesus. <laughs> America hasn't had a hunter this shitty since Dick Cheney. <laughs> but forget who didn't show up, okay? Ladies and gentlemen, we have future President Ron DeSantis here. Give it up for Ron. Yeah, Ron. Yeah. Yeah. Ron, you look like Bradley Cooper if the Limitless pill was wrapped in bacon. <laughs> Ron signed the Don't Say Gay bill, so Florida kids are going to have to learn about homosexuality the old-fashioned way by watching CNN. <laughs> CNN is gay, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, between Lemon, Cuomo, Selter, and Cooper, CNN is taking more prep than an Asian kid studying for the SATs. <laughs> Jesus. But... They're not the only biased ones in the building. Fox News is here as well. Fox's slogan is fair and balanced. Sure. The only Fox that's less balanced is Michael J. <laughs> Everyone knows that Fox has a major slant. And that's also what Tucker calls Andrew Yang. Jesus Jeez. Christ. I mean, come wow. on, Fox. <laughs> Fox leads. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, can, oh, can we keep that in? I don't oh, know. Oh, oh, I mean, come on, guys. Wait, wait, wait. Give me a second. <laughs> I mean, come on, guys. Fox leans further to the right than Stephen Hawkins' neck. <laughs> but, guys, let's be serious for a minute, okay? America is incredibly divided right now. And sitting in this room are the most powerful and influential influential politicians and journalists in the world. And if our goal is to stop the division and unite America, I think we can all agree that the best way to do that is to simply let the president leave and then drop a bomb on this dinner immediately. <laughs> Problem solved. Wow. Yeah! Wow. I figured what it solution? out, guys. Yeah. I figured it out, guys. I love it. What is What's up, everybody? And welcome to Flagrant 2. Let's start this show. Nice. Mm -hmm. Why did Boom. they want you to do those jokes? I don't know. It's so stupid. <laughs> That's so dude. weird. It's so dumb, dude. Uh, yeah. They asked about editing a couple. Yeah. <laughs> Which and, one you uh, think? Say, Andrew Yang, maybe? No, the Andrew Yang one, they were fine. Oh, okay. You're right. You're right. My <laughs> bad. Andrew Yang was totally yeah. fine. They were like, yeah, yeah, those uh, they're racist over there, Fox News. <laughs> uh, those are, but it was the uh, Hunter Biden's. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Dead the Brothers fact, Wife. The factual one. Yeah, the factual oh, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. The, the literal thing that's happening. Yeah, they really yeah. protect that kid, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Maybe yeah. next year you can host it. We'll Say see. again? Maybe next year you can host it. You know what? I don't want to host it. <laughs> I don't want your stupid correspondence dinner. Why? You know? Why? No. I don't know. Just trying, <laughs> just trying to have a fun take in the beginning. It'd be such uh, a fun honor. Uh, no, no. Honestly, it would be. It would be really cool. I love the idea of and. I thought Trevor had some great jokes. I thought he was good, man. He was good. It, uh, we always are going to want something a little edgier, but I thought he did great for what and he they're does. They're not going to let you do anything yeah. edgy in that, in that in that circumstance. But like, there were a couple jokes that were really fucking biting and yeah. mm -hmm. like embarrassing for the people in the room. Oh, he had one against Biden though. Something like, yeah, everybody was so appalled when he said Putin should be removed from power, and then they remember that nothing Biden wants actually gets done. Gets done. Yeah, that, that was, was great. Good. Bang. Mm -hmm. Even the Tubin thing, going right in at Tubin. Oh, like, yeah, Tubin, he's yeah. at a circular table surrounded by all of his friends and yeah. he's just praying that they don't mention it. Yeah. Uh, I, was, I was impressed with Trevor Noah. Yeah, yeah I thought mm -hmm. it was I thought it was good. And I'm I, happy that they even did it. Dude, like considering the last like however many years Trump was like yeah we're not we're not doing it. It also exposes what a pussy Trump is. Yeah. <laughs> like like dude stand up there and take your fucking shots like a man. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And then come back you, and fire at the end. That's it. And you have the last laugh. Yes. 
Like Biden oh. went up there and he had a couple zingers. The 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 Brandon joke I thought was great. Yeah, yeah. He had that one joke as uh, you know the Republicans aren't doing b- uh, bad. There's uh, one guy over there that seems to be doing great. This guy named Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> and it was really good. good. It was like a good. funny bit. But like yo, stand up there and do it. And every president should. And it's a great example of not only how a functional democracy works. No, it's a great example of humility. Right. It's like nice that this is how you don't get tyrants. Mm-hmm. Every year you get made fun of and humiliated publicly yeah. in yeah. front of all the people that you care about mm-hmm. and the whole world. And it's all in good fun. And it's all in good fun. Everything's cool, but the jokes kind of yeah. Yeah. operate in, in reality. You know what could make it easier for Republican presidents if the comedian hosting was openly conservative? Like Trevor Noah, we all pretty much know where he stands on the issues. Yeah. So if he's roasting a Democratic president, it's, it's like someone who loves you making fun of you. Mm. If Crowder is roasting Trump, now it's on Crowder too to fucking go hard and not hold back. But then it's like, oh, it's just a guy who likes me also teasing me and I get to tease him back. I think it hurts or it annoys you more, bothers you more if it's a guy that you know doesn't like you taking fucking shots. Because you get to choose if this is going to happen. Because he did, Trump did the uh, Comedy Central roast. Which was great. Yeah. And it was more hardcore and he put up with it. So it was weird. He just didn't want to give the power to the Democrats that yeah, he knew were just probably. Awesome. He's like, oh. And let's be honest, uh. every correspondence host, you know how they're going to vote. Which is why a guy like you would be great at it because you're a moderate guy. Yeah. So you just give it to both sides equally. But if it's like, if Trump got a guy that he knows probably voted for him and then they take fucking shots, now the comedian yeah. better go hard. Don't yeah. be soft. You got to do it. Yeah. You got to do it because then you're going to be president. And so that's now you, true. Can, you can be on both sides. That, that, <laughs> uh, that's true. That'll be fire. That'll be fire. Fine. I'll do it one year before I'm president. There you go. <laughs> I love it. That's a great. Yeah. That's just, where you announce it. Just like Trump. Bro. Yeah. Hey. And then you set it up, have some callbacks for the next year. So I like it. we talking. Bake in jokes. Yeah. That don't pay off until a year later. Whoa. Fire. Oh, <laughs> your for a whole good. year. <laughs> yeah, they just think I'm having Biden brain. They're like, what the <laughs> fuck are you talking about out there? Finish the joke a year. I told you I was going to be yep. out back up here. Oh, that'd be fire. Yeah, I just love the idea. I think it's so cool. I don't know who else does this. I don't know if there's other countries that do this. I'm sure know. there are. I'm sure we're not the only ones. But they say it happened in fucking Russia. Yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah, it ain't happening happen in North Korea. Korea. It's not happening in Iran, Saudi yeah. Arabia. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it's just an awesome tradition. And we should keep this going. This is fucking great. Anytime that we can publicly humiliate elected officials, we should do it. Yeah, you get everything you want and run everything you want and fuck everybody over basically for 364 and a half days a year. Man, one night. One day of Christmas. One night. <laughs> yeah. We get to say something to you. This Christmas. It's Christmas Eve. <laughs> this is our Christmas. Yeah. Like, oh, phenomenal. Yeah. Comics are the most important. Yeah. <laughs> so we shape the world. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody's better than yeah. us. Yeah. Bastion of free speech. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I just think it's what, what a great tradition. I think it's fun. Yeah, man. That is that is a great that <laughs> is a do. great thing. Yeah. Fourth do we July? have the best traditions? <laughs> Thanksgiving fire. Fire. Christmas. Undeniable. Nobody did fire. that before us. We don't, we don't have Carnival though. Say what? We don't have Carnival. Yeah, we do. Nah. Not like Brazil, not like Trinidad. We got uh, New Orleans or whatever. Yeah, or whatever. Mardi Gras. Yeah. We got, <laughs> they got Carnival. Ball, we got Mardi Gras. Okay. Way yeah. more titties yeah. than our shit. Yeah, I don't know about that. Way more titties. <laughs> they got more flowers and shit. I we got way we more got titties. that many yeah. celebrations. Bro, the no. trade-off, the fact that like inflation hasn't affected beads, like it's still one set of beads, two sets of tits. Two I don't tits. know. I feel like girls yeah, want one more beads. Set of tits, two tits. Yeah. I feel like girls want more beads. I mean, I haven't been to Mardi Gras. But word, word. I feel like yeah. it's going up. Nah, they be showing them. Really? They show yeah. them for a set of beads. Yeah. Like whoever invented it, people are like, oh my god, crypto. It means nothing. Well, yeah. <laughs> like, there's been shit that's worth nothing yeah. that got you things before. Titty coin, bro. Titty yeah. coin. That's it. Let's go. Real time. <laughs> yeah, but Mardi, Mardi Gras has like mad floppy tits and shit like that. You go to like Carnival, it's. Women are it's bad, disgusting so the way you women, talk about women's yeah, bodies, women son. Because they're hungry, Al. <laughs> okay? Nah, they're not they eating eat like Zion they Williamson <laughs> out in New Orleans, that's walking out 300 pounds, yeah, feet five, four foaming on the basketball court. <laughs> but yeah, nah, we have fire traditions. July 4th, sick. Um, fireworks fire. But fireworks I fire. Also, black people, Juneteenth going to be lit once you get black about it. Uh, <laughs> what, you, what you mean? Y'all make shit I, cool, do you not? I, yeah. I think you like, might be on to something. Like, finish yeah. the sentence. You just it's, started it's, it's Juneteenth. Fresh. It's fresh. It's, it's fresh. fresh. But like, give we black a, people 10 years on oh, Juneteenth? Yeah. That's going to be oh, yeah. the most lit holiday. Forget it. Son. Not I still good. don't know what day it is. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what day Al, it is. Do you know? Son, he June 15th. It's, 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 it's not. 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 It's
I knew it was early. Fuck, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you're going to get you gonna crushed. Crushed. <laughs> But it's because it's not hot enough. But once black people yeah, yeah, yeah. make yeah. Juneteenth a black yeah, holiday, I was so bro, eager about it that I was <laughs> <laughs> It's every day. Juneteenth is every day. It's on every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every day, Juneteenth. All I'm trying to say is holidays, if you want to go pound for pound, American holidays versus any other country, they celebrate our shit. They celebrate Valentine's Day in other places. They mm -hmm. celebrate Halloween in other places. We ain't celebrating no French shit. No one else celebrates July 4th. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. Don't, don't be sorry, man. I'm sorry, Mark. Yeah. What do you mean they don't celebrate July 4th? No, I was in Japan on July 4th and they didn't celebrate. What day do they celebrate? Payback day? <laughs> <laughs> what do they do for that? Do they do know. a little was, dance for payback day? Was, hey, he's talking about Godzilla. He's not talking about anything. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, guys. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. We got the most fire holidays. I'm going to go so far as to say I don't know. Actually, actually, and I can't believe you haven't spoken up. Holy? Fire. Oh, and I just, I was, I was like, I've been waiting to say that. He was, was, like, was waiting to say that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He like, just you? reminded you about that. <laughs> I had to put I, you well, on games, your own shit. I said it for him. Nah, he nah. said, speaking of which, I don't know how you haven't spoken up. I said, holy. I was nah. waiting in the cut. You got that, bro. Yo, Yo, what, 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 I, I might have to take credit for that. He's, he's, he's so cold. Yo, no, they so did cold. not. The British invented that. the British make that? They brought that. Son, they brought color. Y'all didn't have color yet. It was black and white. It was black and white. The British had nothing before. They didn't have spices. What do they have? They had no they, color. They still ain't got spices. They still ain't got, have you seen a British person? They still don't have color, pale motherfuckers. Yeah, you all say that shit. Like, oh, they took everything from us. Mm, not everything, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they, they took right very few things. You came for spices and don't even put them in your food. Son. Oh, gosh, when is holy? Overrated. Son. When is holy? Yeah, what day is holy? It's yes. a lunar calendar, so it's always different times. Don't, don't give me Shut that. Up. Yeah, it is. Shut up. We're talking about give me periods. That. We're not talking about your girl period right now. 100%. We're talking about holy. When is holy, bro? It's a different time every year. Look up holy last year. So is Valentine's. No, it's not. No, it's not. Valentine's a different one every year. <laughs> <laughs> Valentine's is Thursday every year. <laughs> Come on, son. It's your girl's birthday. I thought that should be switching too. I was like, this chick is Aquarius. I think, I think, I think we do it on the Aquarius calendar, dude. Nah, for real, bro. It's, it's, isn't it? Isn't Valentine's Thursday every year? No. It's Thanksgiving, bro. Are Come you on. sure? Yes. Nah, Thursday is Thanksgiving every year too. Yeah, There's yeah. certain holidays that they rep the day. They don't rep the month. Yeah. Ramadan, Eid Mubarak, by the way. Oh yeah, 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 fake yeah, ass yeah, Muslims yeah, here. Yeah, 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 fake yeah. ass Muslims been eating the whole fucking time. Yeah, you've been you, eating, bro. You, you, you been eating the whole time. Fast. Fucking white girls eating the whole time. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't even fasted once. Yeah, yeah put the camera on. Yeah, yeah, put the camera on. This piece of shit got he got a fresh shave. All that pork. He got a fresh shave like he's been growing out his beard for fucking Ramadan. <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. All I'm trying to say is best holidays on the motherfucking planet. Yeah. America. Holy is straight flames. Holy Holy's fun. flames. Diwali fun. Holy's flames. I don't know Diwali as well. We be lighting shit. We be having fireworks. I need to go to Was India that the to office? really experience it. Oh, yeah, that was yeah, yeah, that yeah, was the that's, that's my references right there. Yeah, that yeah. one's lit too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 Give Brazil gifts. got carnival. It also got a fire New Year's. Yeah, where yeah. they dress up on white during the beach white. and shit like that. But it's just tan people in white is fire. But it is. Yeah, <laughs> it yeah, is like, true. Tan people in white. Even DJ Khaled look like oh, a yeah. snack in some so, white. So. You know what I'm saying? Why do you think black people always throw all white parties? Y'all look good in white. Y'all look so good in white. So I ain't going to front, bro. Let me kill that shit. Oh, boy. If the Backstreet Boys were black, bro. Oof. Remember when they were in oh, all yeah, white yeah, suits yeah, and yeah, the wig? Yes. Gone. They would have been bigger. Wait, what? Oh, they would have been even bigger. I was like, how'd you get Asian? Yeah, man. I think um, I think we need to put. I think we need some respect put on us for for our ability to create holidays. <laughs> yeah. If you can celebrate our holidays, don't talk that shit about us during the rest of the year. But you should get more days off. Super Bowl Monday should be a holiday, a day off. Talk that shit. The NFL draft give people time off. Don't just party in Vegas expecting to show up to work the next day. Yeah. Time off. You need I time like, off. If we're I gonna like be this. partying all night. Yeah. We're going to need that Monday. 100%. Super Bowl Monday in particular. That shit don't apply to stops. none of y'all. Yeah, I was just about to <laughs> say, yeah, yeah. You know? Start that shit don't apply Start to here, none right. of y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody want to have a Monday yeah. off. Yeah. Martin Luther King ain't take no days off. Yeah, no. He got some days. What? He, he got some days. Okay, fuck. Well, I, I, thought he, I thought he was working. I don't know. Um... <laughs> say, that's what he told his wife. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll try to kill himself. No, 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 I'll try to kill on, himself. Al. 
out today. <laughs> but I respect the <laughs> jokes. <laughs> the jokes matter more. Yes. We are comedians. Yes. We're shaping the world. All yes. jokes matter. Yes. All of them. Yes. <laughs> okay? Come on now. We need to dress in white, dude. Yes. Yeah. But not... Wait. 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 Oh, Come on, Come Mark. On, Mark. <laughs> Why'd you do that? Why? Why'd you fucking do that? Wait, you've got a point. I'm not just talking about the hood. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, uh, we have a very special guest we're bringing in today, right now. So without further ado, give it up for my brother, Brendan motherfucking Shaw is in the building. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. We're here with Brendan Shaw, everybody. The boys. What's up, yeah. baby? Cheers, How are you? brother. Cheers. 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 You know, it's it's really interesting. Shaw uh, told me before the podcast that uh, he has a gift for me for the wedding. Oh, that's so nice. Dude, you, 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 I mean, listen. Dove still hasn't given me a gift, and I see him every Boy, single Shaw day. Wait, Shaw hasn't gotten you one? Shab has no, a, gift. Have a gift for him. I've had it for eight also, weeks. Also, Shab got invited. That's all you got to do is you got to say, I have one. You <laughs> have time. Shab got invited the day the before the wedding. I think he's about to give him the gift. I don't think he's going to say, I have a gift. No, he doesn't no. have it here. Here, here. Here's where he gets nice. Well, fuck, man. Are we no. making content or not? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I know. I yeah. fucked up. I, I have the gift for I've had it for eight weeks. Now, you know, I'm a sneakerhead. And so I and I know I know you're in Jordan ones. That's also my favorite shoe of all time, the Jordan one. Yeah, mids so, or hold on, here we go. Yeah. So, so 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 I have to, I have to source these, they're, and they're not. I have to source these, and it's not. They're not easy to find. So I, right. I get the Jordan one Union LA yeah. edition. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why I asked for your shoe size. Uh, remember that a hot second ago. I don't remember that. It was after your wedding. I was like, Yo, dog, what size shoe are you? And you're like, why? What are you? And you, I, you, you <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. What are you? Like, <laughs> what are you want to know my dick? He was like, what do you want to know my dick size? I'm like, whoa, whoa, just trying. I was to, just so used to my friends not getting me gifts. I didn't assume that you were actually <laughs> going to get me I give you something. cryptocurrency that tanked very quickly. But <laughs> is it down to zero? Oh, not yet. <laughs> Crypto stuff, right? Now. Yeah. <laughs> but it was the intention. What a fucking counts. asshole! Yeah, just yeah. give me that in Bitcoin. Yeah. Why are you giving me this like off currency? Thinking it might make it. I thought it would have you a gave higher him return. An coin? Yeah, he gave me an alt coin. I gave him an alt coin. Oh, well, shut the fuck up. You don't talk about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You've given me nothing. No gift. All I got to say is his fucking stock is down. You still have hope it's, for my gift. It's my still gift worth, can only be positive. It's still for worth your, thousands more than you your zero. Can I tell you something? Can I, can I say one thing? Yeah, one yeah. Tip, this I, is very I, interesting. You don't have I started helping Dove with my gift. Wait, what? You give him ideas? I said, no, no. Like, yeah, I have a good idea pop in because now it's more just about you not looking like a scumbag to my wife. <laughs> yeah. So I go, Dove, I got a good idea for the gift you're supposed to give me. Yeah. I'm helping him Something. execute a gift to me. Mm. To, Rede oh, to redeem you. Still haven't done it. Yeah, and, and you still thought, haven't done and it. You know what? I thought your idea was mid. Oh, at this oh, point, I'm grateful. Oh. <laughs> nah, double down. Let's go. No, let's go. No, 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 no. This shit's everywhere. No, it's no, in the, the comments. The idea is it's, fire. It's in the streets. The best restaurant in the world is coming to New York for a pop-up for a week. That's a mid idea. The best restaurant in the world. For his wife, that's a oh, mid tickets, idea. Tickets sold, me, the, the meals or whatever, the reservations sold out within the first like minute. What it was crazy. It? It's called Noma. It's originally, I think, in uh, yeah, Copenhagen. Copenhagen. And they're here for a week. Oh, so it's completely it. sold out. The truffle can make that shit happen. I'm like, yo, this would be fire. Mm. It's not too expensive, but the thought is super yes. valuable. This is what's so crazy that he what? doesn't understand. What? And I was actually, I'll what? make fun of myself. Yeah. I'm the one who saw the post about this actually coming to New York, and I just sent it to your girl saying, look what's coming, instead of saying, shit, that would have been a yeah, fucking great Why game. don't you still get it? Because they don't have it. It's, it's dude, it's, and, and I'm like trying to nudge him towards it now. <laughs> even mean, now, it's, even it's now, I'm trying to nudge crazy. him towards it. Yeah, it's crazy. It's not, crazy. No, At this point, he do just doesn't want to do it. <laughs> I, like I can do better. I, yeah. I don't want like to just like skim past my like gift, it. though, dude. Yeah, well, it ain't here. Yeah, where's the gift? <laughs> where is the fucking idea? Where no, is it? It's not an idea. There's Does it in exist? My yes, in the box, dog. It's a, and it's also a pretty good investment. Better than your crypto. I hate to be shitty. Better your gift. Those you and Jordan LA. Tell me which one. The the, the Union up, Jordan LA. It's, it's the Lenny Kravitz Jordan. Yeah. LA. <laughs> that's, that's, a good, that's a good. Mark got me champagne that's by Lenny Kravitz. Like yeah, he knows anything best, about fucking champagne. Pull it up, right. Mark. <laughs> please, <laughs> goddamn it! Yeah, you got a dick on him. But as far as those <laughs> Union, the LA editions, yeah, the but black you, and red and yellow, him, what the with fuck yellow is laces. To do? Hold on one second. You know, How are you just gonna sneak in Lenny Kravitz got a dick on him and you didn't comment? Who said that? I did. That guy. Wait, does he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Big piece? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude, he, he was doing a concert in leather pants, no hey, underwear. Let's look at the size. Bent down. Let's look at size. What are you, size 12? Go bring up size 12 on StockX on those. Yeah. Let's see. The, the, the Union is All a, y'all about to get graded. A, a show in uh, a skateboard shop in LA. They always do the best collabs. Oh, you wow. put the yellow laces in. 
Those are the best Jordan ones you can get, Doug. I'm gonna be honest. Keep them shits, bro. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? <laughs> no, yeah. no, 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 I'm off the Jordans. I'm gonna dump that. I'm off the Jordans, bro. Fuck this shit. I'm off the Jordans, bro. You know what? Punch his chance, whiskey, baby. He's a bad guy. I'm telling you, them shits is whack. You're a bad guy, bro. You're a bad guy. Them shits is whack, bro. You got me that for my wedding. How could you, bro? You're Marty McFly. Verse. I'm telling you, you're fucking <laughs> solid. <laughs> yes. Cook I thought you had money, dog. <laughs> what is this? I get trying to be humble and all that, but those? Hold on, we got to see what you're wearing. <laughs> the, oh, the concept Air Max One collab. What concept? They run out of material. Boston. Store that's in Boston. Huh? It's a store in Boston. Now, if there's one place uh, that knows sneakers, it's Boston. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and style. <laughs> they motherfuckers <laughs> well, not even run fast enough to get so away not from New York. These are way better. These are way better than those. Buddy. Boston buddy. can't even those, have a marathon those without like, 300 running away from a bomb. Those are like buddy. 40. Yo, these on StockX, bro? The <laughs> you can't even find these on StockX, bro. How Put that you? shit up right here. Put that shit up right Dude, here. The fucking, the you concept. can't find them on StockX because they in the store. Yeah. No, Yo, you don't need to go to StockX <laughs> for these. Uh, these are available. Yeah, you go to Kohl's and get those. I mean, congrats. <laughs> Kohl's. What's Kohl's? <laughs> Oh, yeah, there we oh, go. Oh, you got to throw the New York jokes in. Yeah, the, oh, it's like, yeah. what's their version of Kohl's? Wait, uh, wait, uh, TJ Don't Maxx explain here? it. Is it TJ Maxx? Jimmy Jazz. Don't explain it. These? Nah, they're kind of hard. Zoomies. Those are objectively, the ones that you showed me before, they weren't bad. D these, don't disrespect us. Those, those weren't bad. You. Those weren't bad. And you would win. <laughs> <laughs> these are awful. <laughs> I mean that sincerely. Those are one of the ugliest sneakers I've ever seen in my entire life. I'm going to be honest. He does No, 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 no. He'll compliment one thing he's shitting on. He's shitting on something. That's fine. That's fine. No, hold on. Can I just take it off? Can I just take it off for a second? I should have put the alternate laces on. Here's the thing. No, no, no. Now he's insecure the laces. It's the laces. It's the laces. No, these No, these are these are fire, dude. Here's the thing. No, these are the coolest sneaker I've ever seen. Who wore these? Did Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake wear these? Is that what they made? Oh, better, yeah. that You're better than that. You're dude, better than that. Dude, bro, shop. Look at your bro. pants right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, are you oh. fucking? I know what you're thinking. You're like, they're both, wait, wait, wait. It's are you hanging bleached. on his pants that don't reach the ankle? That's the best part of them. Yours don't either. I love that part. Oh, you like it? I like that. Here's the thing. I would take the a rest of them. No, I, I would take offense to you hating on shoes if you weren't wearing basic Converse, dude. Yo, sometimes, <laughs> it, listen. I'll be honest with you. You go high it's low. It's too much. You go high low, you go, you go bro. High like it's, it's too much. I'm it, with no, you. No, it's not too. It's it's it's. You know what I mean? Like if I got something nice up here, then I'm gonna be simple Cause down there. Because it's no, a little, 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 little bit so What does this say? Uh, you know you know what this says? <laughs> this, this this. What does that say this, to you? you know, when you look you know at how it, old the 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 Air Maxes, the ones. You know, but just say such what does it say? Old shoe. So for them to revamp it and put their flair on it, the the Woodstock. S fucking 60s flare with the flannel. <laughs> yeah. You don't know shit. Did you just shit. say flannel? Yo, they have flannel. They got no, fucking They have everything on it. That's the problem. Yeah, the they orange have... bandana pattern is literally the pattern of your jacket right now. Oh, oh right there. pattern. Right there. Oh, 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 yeah, they're sick now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That, that was the thing I didn't notice about yeah. them. They're actually <laughs> absolutely amazing right here. You don't think they're a little confusing, like objectively. That's why I see. Like I like if you put... saw them, on, if you just saw someone else wearing them, what oh, would you think? How much? How much? How I'll much? Take, what size do you wear? How much? How much? Size 12? How, much, how, much, how much did you wear? Yeah. <laughs> to, to your point, you know. But so, I get these are these are cool and people think these are cool. Sure. But right? to your point. But so, so honestly. You're, you're crazy on top. No, it's me and you on a beach. And I show up in these. Yeah. What do you do? Suck your dick. Oh. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's not helping. That is fucking sick. Yeah, yeah. The Quick sickest part dick, is at the the label. It's like the Mexican uh, wristbands that you get, the little bracelets. That That's they why put you your got them. On. Wait, what are you saying? At the top, where it yeah. says concept. Where it says concept and yeah. the crazy colors. Yeah, you know, yeah. Beach, it's, it's, it's a throwback to that '70s time. There's yeah. camo on there. Some things Vietnam, need to get left behind, shit. bro. Like there's a, there's a whole <laughs> story. You don't need to revamp everything. You know what I mean? Like this, honestly. This one is not as bad as slavery, but there's certain <laughs> there's certain things wow. that need to get left in the past. Wow. This is not. And, and you, and you don't think the white bad. chucks, bro? These yeah. around forever, bro. <laughs> around nah, forever. Nah, nah. You in this outfit right here with these? Honestly, I, you want the, you want to put this on? What do you want? I'm a. Well, these are twelve. It's gonna be a tight fit. I'm gonna stretch your shoe out. I no, 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 I don't want you to do that. Oh, 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 oh,
He's dead. He's dead. Yeah, now you know how he's dead. What if this is just my foot fetish? Yeah, yeah, just keep doing it. Take your socks off, too, bro. Socks, bro. You just wear white socks. Let me see them toes, dog. Are you coughing up feet on the gram yet, or what? Nah, man. You got good feet. I mean, you know, dude feet. My 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 middle one's longer. Oh, middle one's longer. Get out of here, bro. You're not even in the combo, bro. I mean, middle toe longer. I don't think I started OnlyFans with my feet. Is it true that a cat really makes tons of money on OnlyFans? Yeah, she's quitting firing the kid because of it. She makes so much money. Yeah. Yeah. Wait, how much is she making on OnlyFans? It depends. What's a lot of money to you guys in here? Uh, if you're making six I, figure shows, you you, I, I don't know. I, I thought you were doing well and you showed up in those shoes. I don't know anymore. I thought you were crushing Did he just it. try to insult us? <laughs> yeah, did he just try to insult us? He's also giving us great ideas. I'm on OnlyFans right now. Yeah. Yeah. Did I he might just try to shit week. on us? Yeah. How dare he try to shit on us? No, no, I'll be What's honest. a lot of money? All right, whatever no, no, you get. It's a lot of money no matter who you are. I'll, yeah. I'll tell you right now. Yeah. She, she, she makes over uh, 100 grand a month. What? Wow. And she was still working? Mm-hmm. I mean, Are the feet that crazy? Her feet, her body, like she's a pretty girl. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. I thought the feet was the thing, though. Started with just the feet, and then, you know, you got to give the audience what they want. And has she been showing coochie? No, 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 no. I think just like lingerie type of shit. She has a man, but, you know, she does her thing. She's crushing it. She was like, hey, man, I was like, I get it. Good for you, Kat. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because some of y'all are active out there. You know what I mean? Some of y'all are trying to get active, but you ain't got nothing to wear when you do it. You're looking goofy. Uncomfortable. Uncomfortable. Shitty quality fabrics all over you. I know. You need to step it up. Step it up. You need to step it up with the rollback. You know what I'm saying? Give your girl the blowback when you got on the rollback. Woo! Mm, yeah. Bars. Roback sent us some clothes, and I'm going to be honest, bro. My gooch never felt better in my whole goddamn <laughs> life. I've been running five miles. Gooch stays soft. <laughs> Knocks it out the park. The performance hoodies, the softest. Stretches hoodies in the game. Perfect for an active weekend or a Sunday on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm definitely perfect for Sunday on the couch. Roback's <laughs> performance Q zip ups bring a new meaning to the word comfortable. They are the definition of versatile. Okay? Perfect for the office. Finally, Roback's performance polos. They're the best looking, most comfortable polos you'll ever wear in your entire life, okay? Even if you're not a big polo fan, you broke bitch, you're gonna love these with your broke ass. The prints are fire. Finally, you could go to the country club and not look like a poor. The quality <laughs> is top notch. So, if you don't believe us, just look around. Their subtle dog logo is popping up everywhere, and we love seeing it. So, use the code flagrant on Roback.com for a generous 20% off your first purchase through the end of the week. That's spelled R-H-O-B-A-C-K dot com. That's 20% off all polos, Q-zips, and hoodies with the code flagrant. Make sure to jump on a newly dropped performance hoodies that are perfect for spring. Let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because I got to stop y'all from going bald because that's what I do. I care about y'all. I first cared about myself. I saw my shit getting a little thin. What I do over a decade ago got on keeps. Yeah. Some of it even grew back. That's crazy, isn't it? You could stop your balding right now if you get on Keeps. You could do that. I can do that for you. Keeps can do that for you. You could do that for yourself. I did that for me and some grew back. It's unbelievable. Keeps has got your back. It's that simple. You want hair? You don't want that hair to go nowhere? You get on Keeps right now. Simple as that, okay? I'm telling you. And they have everything that your hair needs delivered straight to your door with discreet packaging and proven results. Remember, prevention is key. Treatments can take four to six months to see results, so act fast, okay? You got to save. They have treatment plans that are so affordable. I'm telling you, it's like half the cost of pharmacy prices. And they got the doctor cons consults all online. So easy for you to keep your hair. So when you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant to receive your first month of treatment for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant to get your first month for free. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. The man thing is, is weird, though. I can't. 
If your girl was like doing that? No, I can't. I couldn't. Do I, it. Me think, personally, yeah, I, yeah, I couldn't yeah. do it. Think how crazy the feet are for a second, though. That might keep you in for a that's while. That's all I'm thinking about. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I that's need all to, I'm thinking I need about to see right these now. pictures. Real talk. Yeah, Let's actually, be honest I, with ourselves. I, 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 I think I have a great uh, gift for uh, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> one subscription to Cats and You don't have those in the union ones? <laughs> Son of a bitch. Yeah, 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 yeah. Keep the union ones. Give me two year subscription to Cat. $25. What is it? $25 a month? Just pay the sub. I don't know. OnlyFans. Yeah, all right. I've never seen her shit either. <laughs> yeah, I, I, swear, I swear on my life, I've never seen her. The, the pictures. She didn't come in in a California podcast. She never wore sandals once, and you look down. I don't think so, dude. She always oh, she wears dope shit. sneakers. And I, I, I can believe that. Oh, I can believe that. Because you got to pay, pay for it. You yeah, pay she's for the smart. Goods. She's smart. Son, you, you never you, got curious. About her feet? Yeah, hell yeah. Hundred thousand dollars a month. You're not looking. I'm not. A foot I'm guy. dying I'm to know. Say again. I'm not foot guy. Hundred thousand dollars a month. If you have clothes, be wet. It's an issue. Yeah. So you have. Five toes, I'm in. There. Even four, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I, I feel that. <laughs> Unless there's something weird. Yo, if she has Simpson feet, that would be fire, dude. A normal foot, but just four digits. <laughs> I don't know. What that she's would going be like well, Simpson's only got four. Yeah. yeah, that they would have, be worth the money. You have pictures up there. Yeah, they, oh, they have three. But yeah. Can you pull up the feet, though? No, 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 oh, no. Not no. unless we paying. You know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Like we definitely got to pay for She's it. She's doing something right. You think I'm already not subscribed? Yeah. Oh, wait, really? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> what do you mean, really? Yo, I think that this show should have an OnlyFans budget, and I think that we should move around a couple hundred dollars a month for a different OnlyFans. Couple hundred a month. Like, like who's who's the big, who, but yeah. who, who's crush on That's only, a like, lot of accounts, yo. Like who's, really? Who's crush know. on OnlyFans? Like Bad who's, Baby. I, I, Bad Baby made that fifty-two bitch million. Made Fifty million. Yeah. Is, she, is she number one? She's the biggest. I don't know. I mean, who's Probably some other girl. Fifty million a fucking year. That's insane. I think Black China made more. I think. No, I think Tiger made more. Tiger, Tiger was making crazy with the dick out. He yeah, got a hog. Oh, I thought, yeah, I saw that big. Yeah. Yeah. Thick army in the yeah. building. And you out here <laughs> selling whiskey. <laughs> yeah, Black China made twenty million per month in twenty twenty one, according to this uh, website. Is that real? That's there's what, no that's way. That's what this says. There's, there's just on. no way. No. Twenty it had million to in one month. It had to happen one month. I think it's their highest month. It's still 20 million. Bro, talk about a come up. That fucking bad. What, what's bad it? baby. Bad baby. Dude. Fucking no, bad. Like Barbie. Bobby without the R. Bad. It's pronounced bad baby. Bad baby. Do we have something we could throw at Dove when he just derails for no reason? <laughs> I, I thought I'm I, so I thought I was with him. I thought I was with him. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. It's bad baby. Bad baby? But really, no. Spelled wrong. But she spells Bobby. it different, to be different. Wait, Alex, are you saying that you're not familiar with people in hip-hop misspelling things on purpose? <laughs> she's not a hip-hop. She's literally she's a rapper. A, she's literally the she's, best she's, female she's, rapper of her generation. Yeah, Al, we don't take her. We don't take her. Al. We don't well, take her. She's Al. an OnlyFans girl. Al. She's an OnlyFans girl. Al, she's a platinum recording artist. Is she? Is she platinum? She went platinum. <laughs> That's not fat. Uh, Mark, I believe please look it up. Mm-hmm. With her fan base, fuck. Yo, talk about a come up, dude. Uh, yeah, bad from baby. fucking Doctor Phil, bad baby. It's bad baby. From Doctor Phil, Phil, catch me outside to fifty million. Yeah, yes, she's got two dude. platinum records. Two platinum. Holy Sorry, I was wrong. Shit. Not one. Two. Yeah, left tit, right tit. Those are it. <laughs> <laughs> Al, she just turned eighteen. Them shits. Yeah, yeah, and she don't. So y'all talking about she making fifty mil? That's Looking all I'm saying. Is fifty mil. I wasn't yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 That was crazy. How'd you know? How'd you know? How'd you know she made fifty? I don't even know she had tits. I don't even know she got tits. We just made it. You just told me now. Oh, yeah. She's a kid. Oh, so we weren't, all, we weren't all just looking at that? Huh? Now everybody's getting under the bus. We She's a kid. All, you were drooling. This guy I never is fucking. Drool once, bro. You went off to the corner, started jerking Ow. off and shit like that. Y'all niggas is crazy, no. bro. She's a child, okay? Yeah. Yeah. She's yeah. doing lots of crap. That, She's making no. Brennan sneakers every yep. single day. She's doing everything <laughs> yep. she fucking can 100%. to get by as a child. Yeah. Okay. Okay? Yeah. We're not going to talk about yeah, just for the record, I thought we were talking about Bad Bunny. I want to be very clear. His OnlyFans is wild, bro. Lit. Yeah. 50 mil, dude. Yeah. Oh, oh you're not getting money over there? Hey, you're not getting money over there, bro? I am not on that 50 tax. Mil? I'm not on that tax. Oh, man. I thought Jeez. you was getting money over there, bro. Like that. Come on, bro. Come on. Uh, your shoes threw me for a loop, dude. I yeah, I gotta you. do I that. I gotta yeah. switch it up on you a little bit. I'm just saying, bad money making real money, dude. <laughs> bad, bad money. money. <laughs> That's a great name, though. <laughs> hey, hey, guys. Hey, hey guys. Hey, guys. Hey, hey, guys. It is what it is. It's yeah. rubbing off of me. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I can't fucking speak with this guy around. <laughs> okay, uh, uh, Shab, talk to us, man. Um, you are here. You have a special that's out right now. Gringo Poppy. Yep. I would be here regardless, but yeah, I'm here. No, to that's why you're here. You ain't yeah. been here yet. I mean, you're here just for that reason. 
We, hmm. yo, they but I mean, I'm here to, for that. But you would go right to Charlotte. You have a family. You want to spend time with your kids. Fact. You're not going right. to just come to All New right. York for a week. Carry on. Carry okay. On. Yeah, carry on. Do you think? You got a Latina carry wife. She's going to yep. let you come to New York for a week? Wow. Nope. Burn the house down. Carry exactly. On. Yep. Carry on. Okay. Yep. <laughs> so you're here for one reason to yeah. spread the knowledge of this special around the world. Correct. Okay. The the Gringo Poppy on the Gringo Thick Boy Poppy. YouTube. Yep. Thick Boy YouTube. Um, after putting out this special. Yes, sir. Which, uh, before you go on, go. huge help to you guys, especially Akash and his team. Like, he's been s he's been so much help, man. Like, I can't Glad thank to help, you enough, buddy. man. Yeah. Glad to help. Yeah, he's been great. And you too. You came to the, the taping at the Ha Ha. Yes. Not the taping, but no, you I told ran me the you special there. Yeah, and you came by, which... You said to me, you're like, I'm doing a, a special. I think he was going to be for Comedy Central or something at that point. Some major network, yeah. Right. And... Uh, so I was like, okay, I got to see this shit because I didn't want you to get into the same situation what happened with the Showtime one. Sure. So I was like, I got to see it. And as long as I saw improvement, yep. that's what mattered the most to me. Correct. You know, and we were talking about this before, but for me, you're in this really precarious situation because it's like, first of all, how do you feel about the Showtime special? We, we spoke the, the about Showtime the Showtime special. Yeah. Um, in hindsight, like I hindsight in hindsight, like I wouldn't change anything. Like this is my path, right? Like that. that Not was, like that. I'm no, I know. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm with you. I know. Yeah. I know where you're going with it. In hindsight, I wouldn't change anything because it led me here and the stuff I learned from that special to everything. But in hindsight, going back, and it's a common theme throughout my career in sports. You know, in the UFC, in the NFL, college football. I wish I had someone that with the perspective I have now that goes, "Whoa, dude." You've been doing two years? Yeah. What the fuck you thinking? Did you nobody should, tell you, you that? You should do it to ten, until you're 10 years in. Did nobody say that to you? No, not really, because I think, I don't know. You know, I don't know. No, no one told me. Nobody was like, yo, let me watch it or let me just, hey, man, it takes fucking, you can't cheat this game. It takes fucking years to get to the point where you can do this. Uh, Callan a little bit told me that and Delia a little bit, but it was more like, but if they're paying you, why? You have an hour. Like, why not? You know, but mm. I, I wish I had someone in my ear being like, dude, it's a this comedy game. It's a marathon, not a race. Yeah. Ten years in before you start finding your voice. Ten years in. Yeah. No matter how many sets you're getting, it's ten years in. Yeah. You know, so I, I, I do wish somebody told me that. There's nothing can change about it. Yeah. So as long as you're le you learn from that, yeah. which was a mistake, you learn from it, you grow, you put in the work, you put in the time. And that's why with the this special on YouTube, uh, the Green Girl Poppy, like I'm telling you, man, put in the work. Yes. Put in the work. Yes. There, there's only so much I can do. And it's the best I can do, brother. Yeah. It's the best I can do. Yeah. And and for what I do, it's pretty good for doing this this short amount of time compared to, to uh, 10 years or however long you've been doing. 15, 15, 15 and 40. 15, yeah. So it's like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but, 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 but take this perspective, though, yeah. Schultz. It's like, uh, yeah, remember, I'm surrounded by monsters, man. So, yeah. you know, my one of my close friends, my brothers, Joe Rogan and Brian Callen, yeah. Crystal Lee and Theo Vaughn and Burt Kreischer. So I want to be like them, man. Yeah. Those are my North Stars. I want to yeah. be those guys. Yeah. But there's nothing I can, I don't have a time machine to go back and no. skip the UFC career and skip the NFL and get my experience yeah. in. So I thought by getting the nod from Showtime that, I'm just like you guys. Yeah, you want to impress your peers. Yes, yeah. that's all and I want. So you, it's like... Yeah, in, in a way it was to like, listen, there's so many obviously positives when you're being around in close proximity to to great comics, right? Because it's going to inspire you to be better at comedy. You're going to grow to your surroundings. Mm -hmm. We're all like fucking goldfish, right? You, you put a goldfish in a yeah. tiny little bowl, it's only going to grow You see so how big. the sausage is made. Exactly. You know but you also you also see how big it can get, <laughs> how funny it can get, et cetera. But I think one of the issues with that is that you don't have friends that are two-year comics that you're coming up with correct right yeah and two-year comics are talking about two-year comic things correct oh i maybe want to do it at this time i want to do a late night or i want to do this I yeah. none of them are going yeah i need to put out my hour special right now correct right yeah. so in retrospect i mean it's a great philosophy to go oh i don't regret this because i want to get it got me to where i am now and i'm happy for where i am that's now. that's a beautiful perspective it's the perspective you need to have on life you don't well, want to sit how and regret else you all day. do it but but i also think it's also like Yep, you did that. And if you watch that and then you watch now, you're like, holy shit, dude, this kid's working. Yeah. You yeah. Know? Well, that's what I that's what I when I came out there, I was like, I need to know that you've put in work because this means the world to me. Yeah. Comedy. Right. Yeah. So it's like and I love you. Yes. And I think that, you know, I was telling you this before, but like I think that people don't know what a great guy you are. And there's mm -hmm. very few yeah. great guys in comedy. And mm -hmm. I mean this sincerely, like. There are things that you do. They'll probably never see the light of day that are like intensely loyal mm -hmm. mind-boggling and kind mm -hmm. 
and that is a you know indicative of a person of like very high character and i appreciate that oh thank you and i'll always have your back because of that yep. and that's Same. why i came to see it because what i judge you as is i judge you as a comic who's been doing it for now what seven years seven years yeah so i'm looking at seven years in i'm not going oh, okay this guy is saying i'm ready to have a special on youtube i should be compared to shane gillis I should be compared no. to these people because those yeah. people are doing comedy yeah, way or Tim longer. Dillon or if you're looking at me and then going to Nate Bargatsky, it's like, right. You know? Right. Yeah. So I think that if that's the perspective and you're looking at like, like what you have is you have this group of fans that have loved you even before you did comedy. And Dude, they, they've been on the journey with me. Remember I was doing fire and the kid when I was fighting fire and kid is yeah. almost 10 years old, 10 yeah. years old. How long have you guys been doing this? Yeah. This how long you been? Almost five. Five. Almost five years. And then then that was the first podcast, or did you have something on your own? I did Brilliant Idiots with Charlemagne before. And how long ago was that? I don't know. Good question. So so so, but five eight years, maybe. So eight. So you know, a while ago. Fine kids ten years old, dude. So if you go back and listen to those older episodes, those first episodes, like, you know, that show is like we're at the time there's like Rogan. There wasn't there wasn't any competition. It was yep. like me, and I was a fighter at the time, but I wanted to be a stand-up comic. Yep. And there's Brian, who's a stand-up comic. So we had this this dynamic back and forth. So yep. it's like they've seen where, and I was talking about tr you know my training camp and the fights on there. So they've been the highs and lows with him, man. And being a fan of mine when I was a fighter, even now, like you know, that's a rough ride, man. You yep. know, especially as a fighter, that's a rough fucking go, dude. So. Yep. You know, I built that falling on there, and then they've been on this journey now. But they've been with me where you know. If you talk to any of my peers, whether it's Kreischer or Segur, uh, Rogan, they'll go, don't post your Ferraris. And I'm like, no, no, I, I'm different than you, man. You got to understand, my fans were listening to me when I was making 14 grand to fight Noguera in Brazil, and I lost. And I, after tax paying the managers, I had eight grand, and, you know, and I, I had a mortgage, and my girl was pregnant, so... They've came up with me through this journey when I had fucking, you know, I know Rock's whole thing is $700. Cool. Your dad was a WWE legend. I didn't have any of that, dude. Mm. So they've been on this journey with me when I had fucking nothing. And they, they also have been on a journey where I talked about going to my first open mic and yeah. then doing my first set at the comedy store. So they've gone on this crazy path with me, man. Yeah. Crazy path. So a lot of times, like, someone who's like a stand-up comedy traditionalist, they get into stand-up comedy and they're like, and this has changed now. And, uh, you know, you could say this is partly our fault, but like comics are, are sharing a lot more of their material, a lot. The, Completely the, your fault. Fair enough. <laughs> Completely <laughs> your fault. The relationship between a comic and, and our material has, has transitioned. Before it was something we hoard for years and then we put out the special and now it's our best marketing tool. There's right? pressure to put content out, like to stay relevant, to stay in the race and I was talking to Rogan about this. He doesn't have to do it. He's at a certain level where he didn't come yeah, up yeah, that yeah, way. Yeah. Patel, you, those guys, well, they, they don't have to do that You stuff. also get to a certain level of success where you, where you don't need to do it as much. But what Correct, I'm saying... But, but with, with, with us, it's like, especially where you, maybe, you know, you're the ringleader of this. But now it's like with stand-up, you have to have content out there well, no, I'm specifically so people can see it. Same for you is different is that like your journey is in front of people. It's almost like people are living this reality show with you, mm -hmm. right? Where it's like, you're not going like most people go don't friends and family don't even see me for four years yeah. before I'm ready to go. You're being transparent with your journey. You're going, Hey, this is me at this stage. This is me at this Correct. stage. This is me at this stage. So which I, I think, think is cool, which is, it is cool, but it's also your journey, yeah. which I know about you, yes, which sir. I support. Yes, sir. Right. So a lot of people, they go, Oh, when it's time for a special, this is the mess. This is the mess. This is my finished product. I'm done. Here it is. You're going, Hey, my journey is something I share with my fans. Correct. And, I think that's dope. Yeah. And that's how I see you. Sure. And I think that you'll get negative feedback from people that don't because they're giving you traditional stand-up comedy expectations. Like they're watching like Tim Dillon and going over to me? You no, know what I'm saying? No, Like they're going, oh, you shouldn't put this out because you have been doing comedy for 15 years. Sure. Yeah. That's, it's like, yeah. well, no, no. Part, in 15 years, you'll put another one out. Correct. And in 10 years, maybe you'll put another Correct. one out. And 100%. you'll ideally, if you keep working hard, continue to improve and get better just like anything you do it with boxing you do it with mma etc do it with so, everything yeah exactly and there's only one way to do it <clears throat> which is grinding doing the work. work and that's 100%. why i think andrew's willing to help you that's why i was willing to help you is this is like religious for us i'm a religious guy stand up is a second faith for me sure and, and I, I don't need you to be you. the 
best disciple of the faith, but I need to make sure you're devoted to the faith. For sure. And when I see you're growing, it's like, bet, you're in there, you're grinding. What can I help you with? Yeah. Yeah. So however no, much I, I can help you, you I give yeah. you my, my resources. No, you know I love you guys, man. Yeah. Appreciate you. Does it bother you when you get hate? Uh, I, I don't understand it. I think, I think other comics might be able to understand it. Um, I, but I also, I don't understand it cause I don't have hate, like no matter who it is, you know, like I try to help anybody out, even if they don't deserve it, I'll usually do as much as I can for them, even mm -hmm. if I don't know them. So I can't relate to it, you know, so it will hurt my feelings if I entertain it, but I don't, you know, you try you, to ignore it. When I say ignore it, like people talk about posting ghosts and they're usually full of shit. I'm telling you, man, I haven't seen anything about three, four years. Mm. I see nothing. So by the time it gets to me, it has to be pretty bad, you know? So I see nothing because I don't think it's uh, beneficial for what we do. Right. I think it's good to have your ear to the ground, know what the trends and what Schultz is doing, what Akash is doing and what, you know, Nate Bargatze is doing. So that's good. But as far as that, the, the feedback and the fans and reading, you know, YouTube comics, no, man, I, I don't think it's good. I, yeah. I don't think it's good. So, um, you know, it's just the way I deal with it. And that's not for everybody, right. you know, but um, it works for me. Yeah. I mean, some of us, we're so feedback dependent. We want to look at the comments. We want to see what people are doing. And, and again, no judgment. If that works for you, do yeah. that, dude. But for a, for a lot of people, it's it's not too beneficial, you know, especially my journey, right? Like, yeah. it could be triggering. So I get it, man. You know what I'm saying? I get it. So as far as the hate, you're not telling me anything I haven't heard. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, nobody's harder on themselves than me so right. whatever you say trust me i've thought it so it, do, it doesn't hurt my feelings man right you right. know and do you understand where some of them are coming from i they they probably i, I understand it where if you know oh this guy whatever their agenda is their narrative is yeah man you know it's like yeah because if you don't know me or you just watch a special you just saw a post of a ferrari but you weren't on the journey fuck yeah mm. you know what i'm saying so i I get it. It's triggering too. Cause a, a, a lot of, I would assume the hate comes from, you know, there's a lot of people that don't have the balls to come. Me. Sure as fuck don't have the balls to fight in the UFC. Right. So a lot of it's triggering, man. Right. Cause I'm, I'm, cause my thing is, is I've always had the balls. I've always had the confidence. Right. Thank God I had great parents. Super blessed for that. Right. That what, dude, whatever you want to do, do it, man. Yeah. And I've ran with that dude. Right. Ran with that to the fullest extent. So, right. Maybe they didn't have good parents. Maybe they have something going on with their lives where they can't do, go to open mics or they can't pursue it. So they have this toxic, dark energy and they see me pursuing it. It's triggering. Yeah. And they might be really talented. They might be funny, but for whatever reason, they can't do it. <coughs> and you want to throw hate my way? I was built for it, dog. You know, mm. Okay, I get it, brother. I get it, man. Yeah. And if I could, here's the thing. If I could help you, I would. But, you know, I, I, there's nothing I can do. I, I don't know them. I don't see it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah. It's a tricky situation. I often think back to like, you know, the scenario that you were in with like, with the whole Showtime thing, because at first I'm like, why didn't anybody tell you? And then there's part of me that's like, of course, nobody told you. Right. It's like people Explain. wanted opportunity from you. Mm. You had one of the biggest podcasts on the planet at that time. And this is during like the podcast bubble when things were starting to fucking mm. explode. I mean, I still do. Yeah. yeah. Of course. Yeah. Um, and then you have proximity to the fucking king joe so mm. nobody's gonna want to keep it real with you and be honest with you mm. what and, if i get on his bad side i don't ever get on rogan yeah and they're like they're like well i would like him to suggest that i maybe go on rogan right which they know that you're a good guy you did it for me you've done it for people and they're like listen I've done it for three people ever though so for enough. those out there if you ask me to do it i've done it for three but you're undeniably a helpful person yeah when i you're was good doing the openers. la podcast run yeah. nobody was more helpful than you so, Nobody lined up as much and did as much. So I understand how you could potentially be in that situation. But after that, it's up to you to learn from those situations and make how, sure. They, yeah, that's on me, brother. Yeah. But, but again, all that's from hard work. Yeah. And you're not going to, again, I know you guys know hustlers. There's, as, when, hard, when it comes to hard work, yeah. people say, and I, I told Rogan, quit saying this, so paint this narrative. Dude, you take that professional athlete's mindset. And I've always had this, dude. Mm. I could be a U, UPS worker. And I just, I just fucking grind, man. Yeah. My dad, he's not a professional athlete. Grinds, dude. That's, yeah. what, that's all I know. Yeah. But the people who oh, are professional athlete, no. What are you talking about? Dude? I know professional athletes have horrible work ethics. Mm. It's just, it's a, it's a, it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, a, a trait of somebody. Like my, my father-in-law works at Walmart. 
dude, he grinds his ass off, dude. Yeah. And he doesn't own the company. He's a manager at Walmart. Yeah. He works the his most ass off. Mexican job. Yes. You can possibly and he is have. very Mexican. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. He does construction on the side. So yeah. it's like on the side. Yeah. yeah. So the side of a pickup dude, truck going to Home Depot. Mexican on Mexican. <laughs> like, yeah. yeah if you're at the Home Depot off the Santa uh, the Soto in Woodland Hills, give him a job. Yeah. What's Woodland Hills? This is California. So well, yeah. yeah, suburban fucking like right um, outside Calabasas. Did your father in law put together your sneaker? <laughs> Listen, <laughs> he'd be a lot richer if he did. <laughs> he actually put together yours, my man. <laughs> They've been doing it for a hundred years. This is Dr. Yeah. J, dude. <laughs> Dr. This is Dr. J. J. Imagine, Dr. J. Imagine playing Dr. Hoops in a doctor. A doctor Hoops. put together my shit. It's actually Chuck Taylor. Yeah, but a doctor. Dr. J. Dr. J. Hey, what is Dr. Dr. J? But you, you forgot who Chuck Taylor was for a minute, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, you did. You wanted to fucking lay that hate on me. I was like, like who the fuck was that yeah. motherfucker? <laughs> Damn it. All right, guys, we're going to take a break for a second because obviously, you know, I've been catching some rays. You know what I mean? Look at my skin. Look like a cherub. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? I look like a Russian's back after getting beaten by some leaves. I look like a ball sack. <laughs> what? what? Guys, 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 what I'm trying to say is if you're out there in the sun, don't be squinting your eyes and getting them crow's feet. You need a pair of glasses. You need a pair of sunglasses specifically, and Blenders has your back. I'm just saying, Chase Fisher started Blenders by selling his chains out of a backpack <laughs> while doubling as a surf instructor in Pacific Beach. His goal was to create adventurous mid-price eyewear options with the same cool factors the other leading brands. Success is upon you, Chase Fisher. <laughs> Unlike expensive big brand shades that you probably lost or smashed in the past, blenders are actually affordable. So you're not going to cry as much when the inevitable happens. You just run it back with another pair of blenders. Blenders team of in-house designers are constantly coming out with new styles. Akash, what you like, bro? Son, buttery bros. Woo! The buttery bros. Them sci-fis, bro. Ooh. Them sci-fis, bro. Where go? Oh, my God. Walk down the pier with those, dude. Right. Anyway. My point is, obviously, you guys want these these sunglasses. So if you want them, I think, Mark, the best I could do is fifteen percent, bro. Come on. Come you think on, I should bro. do less? Come on, give them if seven percent. Fifteen's a off. lot, yo. Seven percent off. No, I'm, they deserve fifteen percent, nah, Mark. I don't on, know. Fifteen's a lot. It's very generous. It's That's the best nah, I could do, and I'm gonna business. give them the best. It's bad business, bro. I, I'm doing. It. I don't care what the fuck you say. I don't care what the fuck you say. You I'm giving fifteen. They're getting fifteen percent off. Blenders purchase when they visit BlendersEyewear.com and enter the promo code Flagrant VIP. That's BlendersEyewear.com. Code is Flagrant VIP for fifteen percent off. Blenders rock with pride worldwide. Now let's get back to the show. All right, guys, we're gonna take a break for a second. I'm saving y'all some fucking money with honey. What is honey? No, it's not that delicious shit that Bala puts in the coffee and makes it so fucking Pakistani I can't stand it, <laughs> even though I love it as well. All I'm trying to say is honey is a browser extension that literally is going to save you money. How's it going to save you money? You pay for anything on the internet. There's a coupon code somewhere out there. You might not have it, and you're a sucker if you're paying full price. But what does honey do? It scours the entire internet. For those coupon codes, you don't got to do shit. Just Woo. use it as a browser extension. That fucking simple. Boom, you get discounts and everything. You're welcome. You don't even got to pay us any money for it or pay Honey any money for it. That's crazy, isn't it? Son, finish line, East Bay, always got them coupons out there. Just use them shit. Just use them. It's really that simple. Go save money for free. Yeah. I, I don't even have to sell you this. Save money for free or you're stupid. You honey. buy it anyway. The, the, you're buying it already. Just save the money. Jesus Christ. All I'm trying to say... This honey doesn't just work on a desktop. It works on your iPhone too. Just activate it on Safari on your phone and save it and go. It is that simple, okay? When you check out, the honey button's gonna appear and all you have to do is click apply coupons. Wait for a few seconds as honey searches through the coupons it can find for that site. If honey finds a working coupon, bang, okay? Price is dropping like your mom's panties. If you don't already have honey, you could be straight up missing out. And by getting it, you'll be doing yourself a sod and you support us. I've never recommended something that is, that is this great, to be honest with you. I mean, is, this is unbelievable. There's I no money it. to save money. Is get, get honey for free at joinhoney.com slash flagrant. That's joinhoney.com slash flagrant. Now let's get back to the show. What is success for you with this special? Oh, get, oh fuck. Good question. Uh, I don't know. 
you know, for me, put it on YouTube, which was against when you talk about listening to people, you know, I have suits that work for me, agents and managers. Clearly, they wanted to go with a major network, mm -hmm. which I think was a mistake, which I learned from the Showtime, because when you do that, mm -hmm. you're compared to the other guys on that network. Mm -hmm. And so the networks that made offers, I went, I've been down that road, man. Mm -hmm. I'm not like those guys. My journey's different. But also, I, you know, I'm not like you or Akash, where you guys are putting material out all the fucking time. The only material on me is from this is not happening on Comedy Central, which was I filmed six years ago mm -hmm. when I was a year into stand up. So that's the only material. So I need this where people can see it mm. so they can see how hard I'm working, how much better I've gotten mm. at stand up. So it's like to me that YouTube made all the sense in the world because mm. I can control it. I can put out clips that I want, but you know, the, the whole marketing behind it, I can do everything and I enjoy doing that. And then I also have the team who can pull it off mm. shot by me, shot by the thick boy crew, the staff edited the music from little brows who I found you. So it's, it just made sense. Yeah. So to me, I just want content out that everybody can see. Mm. You, I mean, on why you, not just put out clips? Uh, you could have, you could have, I have so many clips. Like, you know, we shot an hour. We only yeah. released 30. So yeah. I have so many clips in the chamber ready to go. Yeah. Yeah. That's what I would have told you to do mm -hmm. because it's going to exist in clips no matter what. So we, we put out that material, which I want to get rid of. Yeah. Right. So want to put that out. And then the clip, we cut up in the clips too, which will, be rolling right so you know you both and those are going to create more portals for people to see what you're doing correct you know what i mean yeah and it just allows so I, you I think to, where i'm at it's it's the move man you know, yeah. it's, it's the move it yeah. makes sense for so many reasons yeah, yeah 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 but as far as success i don't know i don't know what's interesting about youtube is, is there like a number that makes you go yo this is this is what i wanted i'd be if it hits a million i'll, I'll, I'll feel like the success yeah mm -hmm. anything on a million i'm like all right we got work to do you yeah. know but again i I don't know. I, I, I think that's the pros and cons of going on YouTube is there, there's a numerical value of how many people fucked with you. Yeah. The, very clear. How many people fucked with you? Yeah. Netflix, Comedy Central, Amazon, Hulu, all that, all those other HBO, Showtime. I have no idea. Mm. I have no, they're not going to tell you. Right. Showtime I knew because they, I have a really good friend who deals with it, so I knew how well it was doing, yeah. and they did a promo code to see who would sign up, so I knew how well that did, but this is very black and white. Yeah. You'll know. Yeah, you get to actually see the views. Um, uh, listen, but, and then also the feedback. Yeah. Com yeah. Complete 180 from Showtime. But you don't want look at the feedback. But I don't look at the feedback, but I get it from my team. Ah, yeah. got you, got you, yeah. got you. Uh, well, listen, before you leave, we have to do... What did they uh, tell you about the Showtime thing? Yeah, what, was yeah. The, yeah. what was their <laughs> feedback? I, 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 I'm like, bro, the fuck did you hire me two months ago? I yeah. told you to like, <laughs> put this shit in the trash, yeah, dog. Dude, this, this is a firestorm, man. <laughs> dude, I don't want to work here. Dude. I'm like... I got, no, I got... The feedback was they gave me their two weeks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? How's it going? <laughs> hey, man, I'll put my two weeks in now. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, at the time, I didn't have a team. I was solo dolo. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I didn't have a feature, man. Have I'm, you gone what? back and watched the first special, like, all the way through? No, I hate watching myself. Really? I can't stand it. You know what? I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm all set. You know? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That is fucked Unless up. Unless my therapist is like, why don't we sit down and watch this? <laughs> <laughs> together? Dude, we're sitting and watch this together and see how you fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to mark this moment. <laughs> yeah, no. Um, we do something on this on this show called Feelings No Facts. Feelings No Facts. Okay. And I, I haven't heard you guys do that, but this is, you know, I'm, I'm busy like you guys are, so I listen to a few podcasts. Mm -hmm. This is one of the only shows... I listen to religiously. Oh, every this one, the one, only shows. Mm -hmm. That's dope. Yeah. Well, Thank we do you. feelings. I, I think you're every fucking episode. brilliant. Oh, I yeah, appreciate yeah. that, man. Yeah. Thank you. Can we you do some losers? You, all, the whole, <laughs> you guys are fucking losers. The, the you guys are that? <laughs> fucking nerds. <laughs> Can we do no, some feelings no facts so while Thank we you. have Brendan in the in the building, please? Yeah. So Mark will bring up some stories, and then we basically do feelings no facts. Let's do it. Yeah. But I also said this. I think I said this at the wedding. I think you're the secret sauce of the show because I did flagrant, and you came to Thick Boy and did it. Yeah. Hey. But you weren't hmm. there. You weren't there. And you, you were there. Whole thing fell were, apart. <laughs> it's your success. Oh, you're the secret sauce. <laughs> hey, is there a part of you where you're not involved? You hope it bombs? <laughs> because, yeah. Because this is the first time ever. I've, dude, I've never missed a podcast in 10 years. Ever. 
ever. Yeah. Never missed, but it's the first time I'm missing King Singing the Wing, Two Fire and the Kids, The Shop Show, Food Truck Diaries. I'm missing all of it. Wait, are people filling in for you? The people are filling on Fire and the Kid and King Singing the Wing. And then on the Fight Companion, Calabas Fight Companion on Saturday, yeah. I have Rashad Evans, Rampage Jackson, Matt, Matt Mitrione doing it. I won't be there. Is somebody else hosting it? No. That's going to be fun. Yeah. But I, but I do hope when Brian's on his own, it eats all the dicks. So they realize, <laughs> so they realize that I'm the secret sauce. Yeah. I hope King of the Singing the Wing eat shit as well. I hope Chris and Theo go, fuck, dude, Brendan's really important. Because when they have to do all the reads and I'm not there yeah. to do all the fucking reads, yeah. I just hope they now realize. Now who sucks at English? Yeah, what's up now, yeah. dude? Yeah, That's what you bring Now in. who sucks at English? Yeah. 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 The money maker. Dude. Yeah, 100%. The mule of the fucking show. Love you, buddy. Yo, you know who could be a good fill-in is uh, Trash Tuesday if you want to get them on a podcast. What's with the Trash Tuesday beef? When are we going to settle the Trash Tuesday beef? It, it's settled as far as, uh, you know. Uh, Did you online. try to wog any Letterman <laughs> to your truck? No, it, it doesn't make sense. No, no. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. <laughs> no. Okay, so then follow up. Why, it, why does it not make sense? Why does that make sense? He, you know, he, 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 you know, it's, it's it's her perspective, and I get it. For, perspective for for it to get back to me, it has to get out of control. I have nothing but love for her. You know, really? I have no idea. You know what her issue is. Anything yeah. like that. That's fine. That's her narrative, and that's how she feels. All yeah. good. I get it. Yeah, yeah. As far as Kalila goes, you know, me and her had a long conversation on the phone. Me right. and her are good, man. Yeah. No one's suing anybody. I, again, that's these, what they I said that you that's were suing. No, no. no the, these narratives uh, online, you know, yeah. it's 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 a it's a you know, it's like a fucking soap show. It, it, they want yeah. this drama. There's no drama. Like Bobby Lee is one of my close friends. I, me and Bobby talk all. No one's been more supportive when I started than Bobby Lee, dude. Really? I mean, besides Rogan and Cal and Delia, like nobody's been more supportive. Yeah. So when it comes to Kalila, you know, I and I didn't have her number, Bobby. I go, look, give me, send me your girl's number. So I called her and we just had a conversation, you know, for for over an hour. Me and her are good, man. I, dude, when you talk about the secret sauce, Kalila is the secret sauce of Tiger Belly, mm. of the Trash Tuesday. She's, yeah. She's such a smart fucking girl. No issues. As far as suing goes, I think it's a miscommunication. Did you see the clip that they put out? It looked like they were very angry. Yeah. Again, yeah. if, if, the, and I told her, always come to me. Yeah. If that, if you want to know, come to me. Yeah. Don't, and they, they don't said that you had like some dirt on her or something like I, that. I, like, I have no dirt. I, I don't know. So like, where me, me and her make, don't know each other that well. They're making this up or what? Yeah, but when it comes to Kalila, it's like, I don't know. Again, I don't, I don't subscribe to social media. So if she's getting that news yeah. and she subscribes to it, I would be upset too. And that's why I told her. See, this, I'm like, I yeah. get it. So me and her straight up had a conversation. And that's, uh, how, that's how adults do it. Dude. But see, this is the problem with you being like so detached from anything that happens online is you don't get to correct narratives about you in real time. Like, you know, this is probably go the first this, time you've this. ever addressed what they said. Well, who but who else is going to You have 14 it? different platforms. You could just go on and be like, yo, that's wild. That's not true. I'm not saying anything. There's no lawsuit. I called her up and squashed. Everything's good. Instead of they put it out there and then never address what is out there. And now everybody just believes what has been said by them is real. Yeah, you could do that. Or I can just call Kalila direct like I did. And no, that, then that. it's squashed between you two. But the people that have seen it haven't seen it get squashed. So they just believe that that thing that they've digested is still real. Sure. And that, but that comes with, you know, celebrity and all that shit. So it's like right. with that, like, you know, some stuff you don't have to tell the public. You know what I'm saying? Like. I'm me and Kalila are cool. Me, Bobby's one of my closest friends, man. Yeah. So it's like with that stuff, and you got to realize when I was coming to comedy, and again, I get all of it. When you have this, former, do you drive a truck? No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. What do you, you don't drive? even drive a yeah, truck. What do you drive? Hold no. on. You don't even have a truck. No. Here's no. I have a Bronco that I got six. Eight Bronco's months ago. a truck. Oh, no, that's eight months ago. That's eight months ago. So you didn't own a truck before then? No, I, I had a truck. No, hold up. I had, a, I had a truck. I had a truck. <laughs> 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 Let's go. Wait, now, no, I had a truck, but here, here, here's go. the thing with that. But did you park in the comedy store parking lot or did you have to no, walk they, to they wouldn't let me park a different there. place? It was, it was, I got rid of it after two weeks because, you know, I was at the comedy store so much. The valet guys who has... They've always been great to me. If you know how the comedy store works, unless you're past, you can't park in that lot. Right. I didn't know that. 
but I would tip them like crazy. That Even when I didn't have money, I'd always tip them. But also, any money I made from the comedy store, the improv, the Laugh Factory, I always give to the door guys. I never took See, the money. See, this guy's I a great guy. Yeah. You're a great guy, dude. Yeah, yeah, I guess. So I'd always give them the money. <laughs> but you they, said a, that's a fucked up precedent to set, though. Because if I go to the comedy store, I ain't trying to tip y'all like that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. nice, but it's not that nice. So Come Indian, on, bro. yo. It's God just damn. different. It's against yeah, my it's ethnicity, just, my so, genetics. But with the truck, they're like, bro, we can't park this thing. It's too fucking big. Right. And I couldn't park it on, in, in the streets of LA. So I was like, yeah, fuck this thing. It was a Raptor lifted, like a monster truck. You can't, in LA, it didn't make sense. So uh, I had it for maybe two weeks, yeah. you know? So that truck was lit. But um, <laughs> <laughs> also, if you're going to make fun of the way I talk, bro. I say to my special. It's not me. No, I say, no I, but I say my special. I love that line. Yeah, I say yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, I don't speak English that well. You yeah, yeah, yeah. learn Spanish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I barely know English. Yeah, you know, I struggle with English. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, I'm not Jordan Peterson. You know yeah. What I'm, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm a far I, cry from. Sure. Yeah. And I know this. I've I've had a speech impediment my entire life. I have to work on it. Like when I would uh, read teleprompters when I had that like legit TV show on Showtime, they had me read the teleprompter, and I could see that. And I wanted the guy to be honest, like, hey, dude, we need to work on your the, the way you pronounce words. But he was just like, uh, uh, I think we should use this Give you coach. a special. <laughs> yeah. I think we should give you a special. I think we should give you a special. <laughs> <laughs> you stumbled across these words like it's a tough mic. <laughs> there we go. So they gave me a special. No, I, uh, yeah, which is <laughs> hilarious. <laughs> no, so I, I, I had to work on it, dude. You know, I, had to, I had to work on it. So really? Speaking, for a guy with a speech impediment, and then also, I've had it since I was a kid man so if they're gonna make fun of the way i talk you know i my entire business is based off talk i thought this was from being punched <laughs> yeah me too i, I honestly yeah. had no clue my life would be my life would be easier if it was ct then i could chalk because you to told me about ct i don't have ct i no, told you but I you told have... you were worried about it of course i lost so, my keys the other day i was like here we go that's <laughs> it. <laughs> it started <laughs> <laughs> Yo, next time Andy Letterman brings that up, you gotta do the Michael or- Irvin. What's oh, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You walk me in my truck. CTE. <laughs> I don't want to call really, that yeah. at all. He was, dude, he was a tidal wave on this. He oh, was yeah. It's one of the only bro. episodes I couldn't get through. Oh. It gave me, no, it gave me anxiety. Really? Bro, dude, because he's just yelling. Oh, he's I was just, in love. But he's one of my favorite people he's on the incredible. planet. He's incredible. Oh, best. dude, he's, he's incredible. the best. So me and him know each other. And then when I, he was like a big UFC fan. And then I was at a Super Bowl party. Uh, Deion Sanders is there. I'm with Tim Tebow, dressed to the nines. And he goes, shop in front of all these people. I'm like, oh, I say last dog. What's up? Give me some street cred. Because I might as well have been a fucking worm. Nobody said hi to me. He goes, shop in front of everybody. I'm like, what's up, bro? And I go to give him a, a high five like this. He grabbed. I'm a grown man. I'm probably 32 years old. He grabs my head and kisses me on top of the head. Wow. Let's go. He's, the best. I was he's, all, he's oh, the fucking best. No doubt, man. <laughs> I'm so yeah. jealous of you. Yeah, so, yeah, he's the best. You could probably fuck him up. I don't know. Michael Irvin? You How, don't think dude, so? Like, if it went to the ground. Dude, yeah, I hope I could. I don't know, though. Hopefully I don't have to. My favorite <laughs> line of his, he goes, You're not ever He goes, Not only was I getting double team on the field, I was also getting double team in the hotel room. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah. the yeah. White House, the bro. Yeah. The best. I love Michael Irvin. Yeah, Michael Irvin. That was honestly, I think, one of our best episodes. Yeah, so fun. Go listen bro, to that. Bro, you had Bill Gates at your fucking show. Yeah, that was kind of crazy. The lizard man himself. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that was kind of crazy. Yeah. yeah. He's just a fan, came to the show? I assume Clearly. that his kid is a fan. And he was there, like, with his kid. And Schultz in the Illuminati now. I'm also in the Illuminati, yeah. yeah that yeah, makes sense. Fully inducted. It's a different group. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so I if met, you need anything handled, I got you. I'll take it. I could use some help. <laughs> uh, dude, Alex Jones was in the, the green room. I mean, uh, Rogan did shows. Did you talk to him about the whole thing? You just got a, I think he filed for bankruptcy? Yeah. Uh, it did seem that way. He was like, I'm crushing. He's like, yeah. the me- <laughs> <laughs> he was like, the media says this, but he's like, business has never fake been bigger. News. Yeah, he's like, fake news. And he, he's just, a, he's a tidal wave oh, of Oh, he's energy. the most entertaining human being you'll ever meet in your life. Charisma is through the roof. It is unbelievable. And I have dude. like vaccine jokes and mandates about California compared to Texas. He's like, I, I love that, the vaccine, but you hit him hard. I'm like, all right, man. It's a good impression. Take, take it easy, dude. Take it easy. He, he's just like, he's, and, and then also, he could be the president of Thick Boy Club. I was like, dude, your arms are how big? Yeah. Like, just, yeah. He's a tank, dude. Just, yeah. He built like, like a baby rhino, just yeah. fucking tan, thick rhino. Yeah. Dude. I am worried about his long-term health. Yeah, for sure. Oh, his cholesterol's through the roof. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I saw him eat a whole onion. 
<laughs> Stem and everything. Wait, wait, cooked? Nope. Raw Savage. onion, white onion, lizard. Cut it. <laughs> Come on, bro. Come on, shit, bro. bro. Chopped vegetables. Lizard. Come on, bro. Lizard. Son, is Alex Jones a lizard, bro? Come based on, on bro. diet alone, yeah. he doesn't look like a lizard. It was unbelievable. Whole <laughs> onion cut in half. Looks more like a toad, am I right? <laughs> Yo, uh, infamous tour. Last two shows. The final two. Vancouver. Uh, May 6th, absolutely crazy that we are finishing this tour that we've been doing uh, for years. And um, truly unreal. Thank you so much for everybody who's come out. Um, I'll be honest, I don't know if there's any tickets left for those shows, but you go check at Uh But yeah, man, I, I'm just super, super grateful for everybody. Uh, Akash's store is still crushing it right now. Man, it's amazing to see what Akash has been doing. Uh, he's going to be in Tacoma, Washington, May 12th through the 14th, Tacoma Comedy Club. He's going to be in uh, Holland, Michigan. Is that Michigan? <laughs> Am I? Yeah. Mississippi? Nah, that's MS. Oh. Oh, damn. All right. He's going to be in uh, Holland, Michigan at the Park Theater on May 19th. Yep. He's going to be in um, uh, Muskegon, Michigan on May 20th at the Back Alley Comedy Club. On May 21st, he's going to be in Grand Rapids. Gun Rule. In uh, Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yo, thank you. I appreciate you covering, bro. Got you, son. Yo, go to akashsing.com. Get the rest of the nah, This guy's Ron Burgundy, bro. He's about to read that whole shit. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. Know. It's, Let's go. it's more words. I keep reading, bro. <laughs> Let's go. Website is fire. Yo. All right. Um, anything else you want to tell them? Uh, first of all, thank you to everybody who came out in Bridgeport. So I told them that fire. shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, it was fire though. We had people come multiple nights and then one guy came three nights. Oh my God. Which is so cool. Cause if you came twice and felt like it was different enough to come the third time, that's, that's, fire. that's what I want. I want you to be able to come oh, to multiple shows and still feel like it's different enough. So thank you to everybody who came out, get tickets for the rest of the shows at akashsing.com. Now let's get back to the show. Thank you, Andrew. Love you. Dude, I used to work for Bravo and I used to have homework. What'd you do? Uh, I did a show with like Kelly Ripa and what's the Andy Cohen and uh, some other guys on there. And we used to have to talk about like their shows. So I was like Real Housewives of Orange County expert. Uh, this is so gay. I was the Real Housewives <laughs> of Orange County expert. But they have like s nine or ten other fucking spinoffs. Like Real Housewives of fucking, you know, New Jersey, yeah. New York, Atlanta, Spokane, Oklahoma. Yeah. I, I used to have to watch all that shit. Yeah. And then you'd have to come on there and try and be funny and like give them the shit. And it was exhausting. When was this? Shit, man. <laughs> Six years ago, probably. I used to, for, and then I worked for E. I used to host the Oscars, like do all the red carpet for the Oscars, the Grammys. Yeah, man. Really? Yep. And I got fired because little Uzi Vert walked by and I made fun of his outfit, like lit him up. Yeah. And everyone was laughing. The producer's like, uh-uh, dude. Because no. he wouldn't do the interview. He was like, nah, fuck that guy. I was like, okay. And, went, went, Moo. and they're like, oh, you're fired. So, yeah. With all those jobs, he might be Mexican, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I think Shab is yeah. actually a yeah. real yeah. true Mexican, life bro. Mexican he man. Yeah. Yeah. He goes deep. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. This motherfucker. The outfits were lit, though. That <laughs> personal stylist. You sick. did? Oh, dude, it was sick. And because I'm so big, they had to custom make it. Oh wow, that's a, that vest right there is is interesting. I look like a blackjack dealer. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm a yeah. blackjack dealer. Yeah, you are, <laughs> dude. Shop <laughs> biceps and forearms looking diesel though. What's up, dog? So Shop, um, yeah, what else you got, buddy? I'm just curious, like, what is what is next for you? Keep grinding, man. I, uh, you know, I'm on tour this weekend in Charlotte, and then in two weeks, I think I'm in Philly. So it's like. Just back to the grind. So right? are you a doing new hour, new material? Oh, of course. I, you know, I subscribe in the way I came up through the guys who I've mentioned before is like, yeah, once that special's out, you can't touch that material. Yeah. So yeah. So it's all new shit. It's yeah. called the trash Panda tour. And we just launch a bunch of other dates. Right. So it's back to the grind, man. And then also thick boy studios, like, you know, heavy lies the crown, man. The thing's a beast. Yeah. The thing's a beast. You got, you know, you got, I'm like in charge of people. I had to fire somebody the other day. It's oh, awful. really? That's Who? Awful. What they do? What they this do? Guy, he just not getting. He's just vaping in the corner. So he's in charge of social media. He's just yeah. vaping in the corner and chilling. Yeah, and, you know. So it's well. What do you want him doing? Working. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like you could do social media and vape. Yeah, <laughs> like you would think. What Vala does ninety percent of the time yeah. he's here. Yeah, some people you know, they're not as talented as your guy. You know? <laughs> he's Fair either enough. vaping or he's working, but not both. <laughs> yeah. Look at him vaping and working. Which guy? Which You're, guy? Yeah, I'm not gonna say his name. Why? Right. I might know him. I might know him. You don't know him. The little no. one? The little no, one? he's new. No, okay, you, okay. the little one, Kyle. 
Yeah, I love him. He, he's the best. He moved yeah. from Kentucky. Like, he's the best. Oh. He's, he's really stepped his game up. Now you got Mike, who's like the head of, I stole him from a movie uh, studio, and he's the head of Thick Boy. Like, he's a beast, man. So what and, do you want to do with Thick Boy? Uh, just create shows and give guys a, a platform. Like, you know, Chappelle Lacey has his own show on there. Love uh, Chappelle. Chappelle's world. Yeah, Chappelle's great. Chappelle's the best. Chappelle's leaving Fire the Kid. What? Really? This Why? week because I'm out of town, but this is his last week on Fire the Kid. The Monday I get back, May 9th, he's, he's not on anymore. Why? He just felt like it's ran its course, and he was like, it's yours and Brian's show, man. Like, I filled in because Brian couldn't do it, So, but now Brian's back. He's like, and you and Brian have this relationship where I can feel the chemistry, and it's such a fun show, but I'm just on the side, dude. Like, I'm trying to insert myself, but it's just not – you guys have your black belt in podcasts. I'm still a white belt, man. Yeah. He's like, and I'm trying to get in there. It's just not a fit. He's like, so I want to focus on my own stuff. I was like, dude, whatever you want to do, man. Mm. So he has his own studio and Thick Boy, and he's going to focus on his show. Okay. So with Thick Boy, you know, I don't know. I, I just like making my own shit. Yeah. 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 That's dope. That's fucking dope. I still need to see Cat's feet, but. <laughs> I, mean, so, dude, God, I, I mean, dude, I guess I, I'll keep the Jordan 1 unions and give you a subscription to Cat's OnlyFans. <laughs> I mean, I guess I'll do that. Ow. Those Jordan one unions. It's a good look. I'll sell them to you for a thousand dollars. You son of a bitch. I'll, I'll sell them you to know, you for one thousand dollars. Bad guy, though, right? Say You're a bad guy. No, You're I'm bad not, guy. listen. What I'm trying to do right this. now. What I'm trying to do right now is I'm trying to set a precedent for what the gift Dove needs to give mm. me is because uh, you gave me a very thoughtful gift, which is a very cool pair of sneakers. Objectively, they're cool. Some Objectively, would say they're the cool. coolest. They, I, I, I mean, now it's not a Daytona Rolex. I don't like. The, don't like That's the what stitching. fucked everybody in this room. Mm. Rogan. Yeah. Who is fucking Oprah for guys goes, yeah. here's a fucking Daytona <laughs> Rolex. <laughs> yeah. Here's yeah. a Daytona Rolex. So it's like, yeah. all right, dude. Yeah. Here's yeah. a fucking pair of sneakers. Look under your that. seat. Here's a career. There's a career. Yeah. There's a career. Yeah. You get a career. Yeah. You get a career. Yeah. You, get a career. Yeah. you get a career. Yeah. Yeah. You don't. The one but, guy that needs to give me nothing. Yeah. 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 He's the best. He's the best. Yeah, not the guy that officiated. He's the best. But this guy thinks that just because he officiated the wedding. <laughs> just because. He officiated the wedding. Oh, my God, Dove. Bro, Dove, you did a great job. The highlight of that... Was Charlemagne though, yeah. Oh, but who? Oh yeah, oh. you offloaded your officiating. Oh. Wow, it, was, it, was, it was half and half. Who, who, you, picked, <laughs> who picked Charlemagne to do it? Nobody knew. Well, that was a surprise. Was a, I think it was Hall. Yeah, it was maybe maybe it was my friend. It might be like, the years of relationship. Like you booked them. Oh, yeah. I booked them. I produced them and I timed it oh. and I did all the did things. You, and you wrote it. His thing? Yeah. I know you. Yeah, you did a great free. job officiating go. the wedding, Thank but you. that's not a gift. Yo, it's but we not. can't even compliment him for it anymore because he believes that it was like worth something. Yo, you know what? It it's, was worth friendship and love. Yo, yeah, you know that's what? It. You he know believes what? it's worth a value, like Hold a on. dollar yeah, yeah, yeah. value. Rogan didn't get your wife a gift. He don't need to. Fucked up. He got my no, wife what, the what gift a, of me being terrible, happy. What a terrible take. I'm taking take. down yeah. Rogan. I'm what a taking down take. Rogan. What a terrible take. We have those Diet Cokes though. What a terrible <laughs> take. Dude, Diet Coke is my fucking Lord and Savior. Dude, I'm like Donald Trump. Did I will drink bring, 15 of them. Did you bring? Oh, but not in the bottle. No, I want it in a can. You go can or yeah, nothing. I can, can. But Just I asked for cans. But on ice. Dove get did it get on it. ice. It's all right. I mean, I'll Dove, you got, the, you got the, the plastic bottle version of the Diet Coke? You know, I'm doing 97,000 things. So I said, hey, Uber hey, Eats. Hey, don't let them hate Coke. on you for this. Don't let them hate on you for this. Let them hate on you exclusively from no wedding gift. Yeah, that's I think, I think that's that's a valid. I'm a fair guy. Plastic? You want me to get cancer? Okay. That's fine. Okay. Wouldn't care. Shop, listen. Honestly, <laughs> you can all go down. And Rogan, you're going down too. I'm you being get objective his, here. His girl a gift. Dove wants all the heat. He man. wants all the smoke. Uh, I'm telling. I'm telling. I'm telling Todd Feldman, man. Todd. Oh, He's gonna oh, discipline me. Todd. I'm telling Todd, and you know Todd. Todd's my guy, man. I love Todd. Okay, before we get out of here, yes, sir. Tell them anything that you need to tell them. We have Gringo Poppy right now. Thick boy. The biggest thing is YouTube. special. The, the the entire reason I came to New York and took time away from my kids is. Uh, yeah, the special's on YouTube right now, Thick Boy YouTube. It's uh, the Green Girl Poppy, and it was created, shot, edited. The music, everything is all under the Thick Boy banner. We did it all ourselves. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, man. And then uh, a lot of work went into it. And continue following uh, Shab's journey, man. I think you have a very interesting journey, and I think that it's cool that you're being so transparent with it. And uh, yeah. a lot of people rock with it. And I think that you're genuinely good guy in this the business best. and it is rare yeah to find good guys in this business agree so you keep doing that and don't let uh don't let negativity change you from 
into a person that you're not. No, never, brother. Okay. Never that. Never good. that, man. But I'll, I'll I believe, be in Charlotte this weekend, then Philly. Good. But I believe that correcting false narratives is important. Sure. Brother. And I yeah, believe whatever. that you should use either your platform or other people's platform to do that. And um, I hope you got a little bit more clarity here. Today, no, you know, man. I trust you 100%. Both of you guys. I love both of you, man. Love, love you, dog. Thank you, man. Okay, my man. Brennan Shop, Gringo Poppy. Go yeah. check it out. God Thank bless. you so much for coming. Let's, you Let's go walk into his truck right now. Let's, Let's, go. Go. <laughs> Let's jump in the truck. Peace.